Studio, it's all yours. First leg is yours, Studio. All right, they're off the on the footing girls, four by four, 100 meters, really. And take now very quickly for the first uh, 100 meters or thereabout. Uh, this is a movement on the top there by the Charles and Mills Secondary School already, making up the staggering entire field there. Just about 200 meters to go for this, the first leg up there. Four by four on the 14 girls. Coming around quite smartly, followed there by the Gingerland Panthers. Uh, uh, somebody is has collapsed, it looks as though. Is it Charles A. Mills? But coming around on the outside, we see the Gingerland Secondary School uh, powering her way through on this the first leg followed there by the Charleston secondary school and the Bastia high school the first hand off it looks like the gingerland secondary school she's going all the way around she's running in lane six yes is the gingerland secondary school followed by the Charleston secondary school the Bastia high school running out of lane two here on high school and you have on the outside it looks as though the virtual is high school. Around the goal, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second leg of this race. Uh, Gingerland secondary looking quite well. Down the back stretch for the second time. They're leading this field. See the Charleston secondary doing some work, followed there by the Bastia High School. Cutting in on the inside of the Washington Archibald, followed there by the Keon High School. Coming on the inside of the lane, but there. Yeah. There's a Gingerland Secondary School working tremendously hard. Coming around the curve with just about 110 meters to go. Looking to build this one through for the second handoff. Gingerland Secondary School doing quite well for the second leg. Followed there by the Charlestown Secondary School. Gingerland Secondary now with the second handoff. Boland will hand off to... Lapsy, so Lapsy with it now for the third leg, for the Gingerland Secondary School, Charleston Secondary. The Bastia High School. Benjamin with it for the third leg for the Bastia. Here you come the Washington Archibald School. Let us see what is going to happen there. Gingerland running away with this one on the third leg. Coming up to the 200 meters mark, we're still with the Gingerland Secondary School. Uh, followed there by the Charleston Secondary and the Bastia High School. They're uh, coming around the curve again. This is the penalty of time, the third leg. Going to be very decisive for the Gingerland Secondary School coming around the curve. And she's uh, working tremendously hard, looking down the straightaway for the third handoff. Gingerland with it now. Leading this one, the under 14 girls. Four by 400 meters really coming up for the third and final handoff Williams is going to hand over to Griffin right about now Gingerland with it Griffin takes it she's on the anchor leg here for the Gingerland Secondary School with quite some distance ahead of the field Lips, Lapsy will now hand over to Mills of the Charleston Secondary School Lapsy to Mills yes Mills with it so it's Griffin out front for the Gingerland Secondary and Mills for the Charleston Secondary. Benjamin to Brown. So it's Brown now of the Basta High anchoring for the Basta High School. Followed there by Washi. Followed there by the Virtuals High School. Down the back stretch to go by his Gingerland with just about 200. 200 meters to go here for the Gingerland Secondary School. Griffin with it. Moving away from the rest of the field, she's been trailed there by Mills. Oh, she's increasing here. She's really increasing here, the momentum. And driving to the finish line is Griffin of the Gingerland Secondary School. Just about 60 meters to go. She's easing off the pace somewhat. She knows she has the distance. Bring it home, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for the Gingerland Secondary School. Anchored there by Griffin now. The Gingerland Secondary coming to you to take the gold, Mr. Wiltshire. That is your alma mater. Yes, I know you yes, love this and one. On their fiftieth anniversary, quite an achievement. Gingerland Secondary winning the four by four, but here comes Charlestown with the silver by Mills. Yes, and there we have uh, Bassey. Crown of the Bassey High School. So there we have it, the medalists. But bring them home, ladies and gentlemen, the four by four.
won by the Gingerland Secondary. A good medal for them on the fifth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, they're off and running. You have the on the 14 boys, 4x4, four 100 meters, really. All we had leading out front there, it looks as though the Charleston Secondary School out front. All the way on the far side, it looks like it's the Wolf Pack out of Saddlers. On the inside, we have the Charleston Secondary School coming around there for the first leg. I want to say a pleasant good evening to Colin Frank. Uh, haven't seen you for some time, brother. Glad to have you home. That's Colin Frank, one of the 400 meters specialists back in the day. Here comes the Charlestown Secondary School. Coming through for the first handoff is the under 14, uh, 4 by 400 meters relay. First handoff to the Charlestown Secondary School. Followed through there by the Gingerland Secondary School and the Bastia High School running out of lane two. They're going to cut in after this. 100 meters out there about on the inside. Charleston Secondary. I'm on the inside. He's been trailed there by the Gingerland Secondary and the Bastia High School going down on that back stretch for the second time. Here's the Charleston Secondary trying to power away, trying to create some distance. Here come the Bastia High School trying to make some work and close the ground. Not Cutting on the inside, followed there by the Gingerland Secondary School now. Returning the favor. I like to see this kind of competition. Coming around the bend there, the Charleston Secondary looking for the second handoff. Coming down the straightaway. Down the straightaway. Power in his way too for the second handoff, followed there by the Gingerland Secondary School. On their 58th anniversary, working tremendously hard. Uh huh. And it's the Charleston Secondary School followed there by the Gingerland Secondary, the Bastia High School, and the Washington Archibald High School. Here we have the Charles E. Mills Secondary. Oh, they are going around there. Here comes the Charleston Secondary School now. Charles E. Mills as well in about the fifth position. Let us see what they'll make of this one. Down the back stretch, uh, we see the Charleston Secondary School trying to move away from the Gingerland Secondary, but it's a bit too close here. Coming up to the 200 meters mark for this, the third leg. Uh, they're coming around quite smartly. Here they are. We are with the Charleston Secondary School, followed there by the Gingerland Secondary. We have the Bassey High School in a tussle with the Washington Archibald High School. But here comes the Charleston Secondary School up the straightaway for the penultimate time. A little glance over his left shoulder. He noticed he has some distance. He's trying to work his way for the third. And final handoff of this, the under 14 boys. Four by four, the third handoff to the Charleston Secondary School. Here comes the Gingerland Secondary for their second handoff. And it looks as though the Washington Archibald High School will have their third handoff on the Bastia High. Oh, they are going around now. The final leg. This is the anchor leg. This is what is going to count here. Coming down the back stretch for the final time, you have easing forward. The Charleston Secondary School smoothly into his stride, trying to move away from the rest of the field. Coming up to the 200 meters mark. We're with the Charleston Secondary School. He's beginning to drive now. He's going into overdrive. He's really putting on the pace here. He looked like the Charleston Secondary School, followed by the Gingerland Secondary School. And it's the Bastia High School in a tussle with the Washington Archibald High School. He's going to be close for third place, but with 80 meters to go. Here comes the Charleston Secondary School. Ladies and gentlemen, where is Charleston? Put your hands together for Charleston Secondary School coming through for the under 40 boys and he takes the goal for the 4x4. Four four. The Charleston Secondary School followed there by the Gingerland Secondary coming to Wash is going to have something to say about it here. On the bus the high school goes past him uh, and will go across the finish line. Gingerland for the silver and the bronze medal goes the way of the Washington Archibald High School. A very good run there by Washington Archibald High School coming back in the dying stages of this race. Yes indeed Silvestre. All right, the old ladies and gentlemen, the under 16 girls, under 16 girls, four by 400 meters relay. See what is happening on the outside here, on the top of the field. Uh, 
We see Rollins started there in a battle with the Washington Archibald High School on the outside. Washington Archibald going on the inside. You have the Sadler Secondary School with Rollins. It's Ben. Ben of the Washington Archibald High School coming around the curve quite nicely. Very difficult to run in lane 7 and lane 8. But they're working tremendously hard. Look at what is happening in lane 2 with the Virtuals High School. Coming through. That's Blois. Looking to work her way through. Here is Washington Archibald on the outside. But it's Blois. Uh, going to have the first handoff. Looking for Doylin. On the inside, it's going to be Doylin with the first. Yes, Doylin picks it up. There for the Virtuals High School. Followed there by Sebs running out to lane 5. Well, Doylin is gone. She's taking no prisoners at all. She's really mounting it on for the first uh, 100 meters for this, the second leg of this particular race. We see the Bastia High School with their handoff to Isaac. Isaac with it for the Bastia High School. But out front for the Virtuals High School, Doylin pacing herself down with 200 meters to go of this, the second leg. It's Doylin of the Virtuals High School. Leading the field, they've cut on the inside, on the inside lane. Sadlers is working very hard. Sadlers with Thomas now, putting in a challenge on the Charles A. Mills. Is Sadlers, Thomas with it, coming around the bend. Oh, Charles A. Mills is pulling away from the rest of the field. Down the straightaway they go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still with Doylin of the Virtuals High School on the second leg. She's going to have the second handoff right about now. It's going to be Doylin to Adams. Adams take this one away here for the Virtuals High School. Followed there by Sims with their second handoff. Let us see if they can pull this one back. But it's Adams there for the Virtuals High School making some ground. Uh, Sam's working very hard. On the inside, we have the Washington Archibald High School in Gordon. Gordon now on the third leg. Uh, with it coming around the curve there, we see Sam still uh, trying to work hard. Coming up to the 200 meters mark of this, the third leg. We are with Adams of the Virtuals High School. She's really going up pace here. Cutting it down. Coming around 150 meters out there about. Sam still uh, coming and still coming uh, Adams with it uh, coming around the curve 90 meters to go can she pull this one day for the third hand off coming down the straightaway she's slowing uh, Sam's closing uh, there you have it she's coming down the straightaway just about another 60 meters out there about to go she's looking for the third and final hand off she's coming through followed there by the Charles E. Mills uh, secondary school third hand off Adams to Chapman and now Chapman is gone. Followed there on the inside. It looks as though it's Hodge. Could it be Hodge? Yes, it looks as though Hodge for the Charles M. Secondary School. This one is going to be very close on the top. We see the final handoff there by the Washington Archibald High School. DuPont with it. Uh, Sadler's with it as well. Coming around is Mitchell and DuPont of, of the Washington Archibald High School. But look up front there. We have a challenge up front. Chapman with it for the for the Virtuals High School. Closing in is Hodge. Can Hodge pull this one back? 200 meters to go up the final leg. Here is when it's going to happen. Chapman with it. Uh, uh, Sam's with it. Sam's is coming around there. The curve there. It looks as though it's hard. Uh, closing very hard. Uh, here is the Virtuals High School coming around. And she's overtaken there by Charles A. Mills. Down the straightaway with just about 80 meters to go. It's Charles A. Mills now powering her way to the finish line. It looks as though it's hard with it. Uh, she's striding tremendously hard but here comes Sadler's. This one is going to be something to behold. Here's Sadler's coming through. Yes. Mitchell just goes flashing yes, past Silver, there so the creep up for indeed. the silver medal. What Sam the takes the goal. Uh, the creep up. When a creep like up. Virtuals had it. Don't pack. In came Sems. Ah. And not only Sems, Sadlers came from behind as well. A tremendous and run. Virtual into the bronze spot. What a run, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for these girls. As they keep coming home, they are finishing the race, Sylvester. Well, some can't stand, Mr. Wilcher. They're getting on the fall to the well, ground. Uh, they tell you the, the kind intensity. Of, yeah, of the that. intensity. Yes. Great run, ladies and gentlemen. As sad as All right, ladies and gentlemen, they're off. It's the under-16 boys, 4 by 4 100 meters, really. 
And we see some work on the outside there already been put in by the. It looks as though we are looking at the Charles e. Mills, uh, a second of the school, uh, moving away from the rest of the field. Uh, a quite strong move there on the outside, running out of lane uh, seven. Coming around quite powerfully. In lane seven, down the straightaway, being followed there on the inside by the Bastia High School. Bastia High School Erskine is trying to come through and hand off, of course. To Hodge. Erskine will come through for the first hand off to Hodge, the Bastia High School with it. Followed there by the Charles e. Mills. Bastia High School in lane three. Followed there by the... Tazi Mills and you also have the Charlestown Secondary School and the Gingerland Secondary School. On the inside in lane two, we have the Virchiles High. Past the high school cutting on the inside, being trailed there. That's hot with it. Followed there by the Charles e. Mills. We see the Charlestown Secondary School with Gishad. Some distance behind, we are on the second leg. Movements here by Charles e. Mills. Hodge. Still trying to hold on down the straightaway with just about 80 meters to go. It's Charles e. Mills now taking over the lead. Uh, doing a little uh, <laughs> play acting. <laughs> play acting. Doing a lot of things there. <laughs> Charles e. Mills, we are running a competition. Uh, in competition. Well, here comes uh, Charles e. Mills with it now. Taking over the lead for the third leg. Followed there by the Gingerland Secondary School. Gingerland Secondary School coming around the curve there with Burnett. Burnett of the Gingerland Secondary School. Followed there in the inside by Sadlers. It looks as though Sadlers with Ward. Followed there by the Bastia High School. Bastia High School Liebert trying to make a move right about now. But out front we have the Charles e. Mills Secondary School coming around the curve. This is the third leg, looking for the third handoff. Charles, uh, Charles e. Mills Secondary in the lead, followed there by the Gingerland Secondary. Going to be Charles e. Mills with their third and final handoff. Charles e. Mills, uh, Clark with it. Uh, Clark will anchor this for the Charles e. Mills Secondary School. Picked up there by the Gingerland Secondary. Gingerland Secondary Daniel with it will come around. Followed there by Virchiles in Carey. So we're going to see what happens here for the final 300 meters or there about Charles e. Mills out front. Long strides moving away from the rest of the field. Been trailed there by Virchiles High. Follow and the Charles e. Mills, Charles Town Secondary. Charles e. Mills with it with less than 200 meters to go. Just about 150 meters is still with the Charles e. Mills clock. Clock is anchoring here for the Charles e. Mills. Coming around with just about 90 meters to go. Is Clark with it down the straightaway now. Moving away from the rest of the field quite rapidly. He has about 50 meters to go. Here is the Gingerland Secondary coming through with Daniel. But Daniel is too far behind and it's going to be Clark that takes it for the Charles e. Mills Secondary School. Followed there by the man, the Gingerland Daniel. And Daniel comes to follow there by the Virtual High School in Kerry. A very good run there uh, by the Charles e. Mills Secondary School. Yes, but careless this. Sir, but I'm um, on the second leg. Um, that that lead needs to be spoken to. You are in a competition. You have no time to be turning around and beckoning and that kind of stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, their office, the under 18 uh, females. 4x400 four meters, really. Their final race of the evening. They're out. They're on the far side. Like right, the Charleston Secondary School. The Bastia High School. Coming through on that far side there with the. Uh, Berkeley coming around the bend there at this time. Uh, Washington Archibald High School as well. Putting in some work. Coming down the straightaway with the Bastia High School with Berkeley. Followed on her outside there by the Charleston Secondary School. Missy Jones 
Jones will hand off to Bailey Berkeley. He'll make sure she gives it one to Phipps. Phipps with it for the Bastia High School. And uh, on her outside, on her right side, she has Bailey. Moving on the far side, on the inside, we see the Charles D. Mills secondary now making a move. It looks as though it's Claxton. Claxton running the 4x4. Four four. Moving quite rapidly down there for the 4x4. Four four. Trying to make up some ground on the Charleston Secondary School. Yes, it looks as though it's Claxton working very hard. We, we did not see Claxton very much for the day. So she has been well rested. Here comes the Charleston Secondary School. Bailey. Bailey coming through. But it looks as though the Bastia High School with it. This is Rollins, Kaima. We've seen Kaima for the first time as well. Kaima Rollins. She hand over to Pond. So it's Pond now backling it out with the Charleston Secondary School. Matthew, they're on the third leg. Let us see what Pond will deliver. We've seen Pond for the first time and Matthew as well. It looks as though we have the Chazzy Mills in third position going down the back stretch, coming up to the 200 meters mark of the third leg. We are still with Pond trying to move away, but getting some very stiff competition here from the Charleston Secondary School. Just about 150 meters of this, the third leg to go. Charles down now, closing down, closing that one down. Coming around for the third and final handoff. Matthew of the Charleston Secondary School. We look to hand over to Bartlett. But here is Charles Emils coming through. Uh, really rushing through from behind. And it's the Charles Emils with the final handoff. And who is anchoring here for the Charles Emils? Uh, don't have a name. Uh, but here comes the Charleston Secondary School, Bartlett with it, uh, followed by the Bastia High School. And they're going around the curve there. We have Bartlett. We have the Charles E. Mills Secondary. We have the Charleston Secondary. Coming up to the 200 meters mark. Oh, look at what is happening here. Is Bartlett taking over the lead? Uh, Moving away now with some strong, even stride. Striding away from the Charles A. Mills. Bastia High School still coming. Followed there by Burchards. They're coming around the corner now, down the straightaway. This is just about 60 meters to go. It looked like this Charleston Secondary School striding to the finish line quite comfortably. Are we going to see the Bastia High School coming through to take the silver? Can she hold out? Followed there by the Burchards and Charles with it. No! It's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be the Bastia High School taking the silver medal there in the under 18, uh, 4 by 400 meters. And Tyra Charles was in there for the Bird Charles High School. Did not pick her up That's until right. the last yeah, moment. Yeah, it depends on teamwork, Sylvester. But there is a uh, Charles Stone making sure that they had this one done back with um, Bastia. Because um, we realize set. The off ladies and gentlemen, the only 18 boys, four by 400 meters, really. And we see what is happening on the outside in lane 80. We see the Charles J. Mills Secondary School trying to away from the rest of the field followed there by the Keon High School Williams with it we see a tussle between the Bastia High School and the Washington Archibald Bastia High School already making up the stagger on the inside I have the name Balson I'm not too sure if he's Balson here starting for the Bastia High School no he doesn't appear that way down the straight away they go we have with us Charles E. Mills backing it out we have the Keon High School Coming through for the first handoff. This one is going to be very close between the 
Keon High School and uh, Sims uh, almost together. Looking strong there is the Keon High School now with uh, Nolan. Sims trying to come back on the outside after the first uh, 100 meters of this the second leg now cuts on the inside. Chazzy Mills, uh, secondary in the lead, a slight lead there, just about some five meters out there about. Been trailed there by Nolan of the Keon High School. Back we have the Washington Archibald High School in Mills. Mills is trying to make up some ground. He's followed there by Sadler's secondary school. Coming down the straightaway for the second handoff, we have with us Charles e. Mills secondary school. Creating some more daylight between himself and the Keon High School in Nolan. Second hand off to the Charles E. Mills Secondary School. Second hand off to the Keon High School. They're taking this one away now. Two of the Keon High School in second position. This is the third leg. Uh, going down the back stretch uh, for the penalty by time. This possibly can be the last uh, relay of the evening. We'll see what happens. Here comes Sam's with just about 200 meters to go. Coming around for the third and final handoff. Still in the lead, followed there by the K.O. High School. And the Washington Archibald High School here is the Basti High School trying to make some ground. This one is Balsner this time. Balsner Stevens coming around working tremendously hard, but it's Sam's out front. We'll have the third and final handoff by Sam's right about now. Yes, uh, Sam's gone. Now on the ante leg, Balson with the second handoff. Good work there by Balson of the Barsley High School. Going around the curve now, the Barsley High School. Is it Lewis? Lewis coming up, looking to close things down. Can he pull anything back? Coming up to the 200 meters mark. It's Charles E. Mills now changing into another gear. Oh, look at that. Look at Charles E. Mills go for this probably the final race of the night. Oh, it could be Huggins. Is it Huggins? He's pacing his way down the straightaway. Oh, my. Working tremendously hard here. The Charles E. Mills for the final race of the evening now. Just about another 20 meters to go. It's going to be the Charles E. Mills that takes goal in the under 18 4x400 four meters relay. Keon comes back uh, finally and takes the silver medal. And it's going to be the Boston High School with Lewis that comes through for the bronze medal. That's unofficial, ladies and gentlemen.